Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was looking at this game of chess. You know, um, I have learned, I have tried to learn how to play this. Yes. Um, but I really, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> see, some people, they can uh, see. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's been said that some persons, they they have the, the ability to see moves um, that other people can't. Mm -hmm. Now, the term checkmate comes from the Persian shamat, mm -hmm. meaning the king is dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. The king can never be moved into check. Uh-huh. Uh, into check, nor can a player so move any, any man as to expose his king to check. Yes. Mm -hmm. When a player's king is not in check, but the player can make no move with any man that would not expose the king, his king to check. He cannot move at all, and the game is said to end in stalemate. Yes. Mm -hmm. White always has the first move. <laughs> now, this game of chess, they've probably been playing this game for quite a long time. Yes. I don't know when the first um, chess board was... Uh, was really invented. Mm -hmm. Now, there's what's known as the pawn, the rook of, or castle, the knight, the bishop, the queen, and the king. Yes. And you kind of set them up like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people, they look at life as if it were a game of chess. Right. And that you're going to uh, checkmate me as a king. Yes. And I won't have any more moves available. So, mm -hmm. I've had that experience for the last eight years that somebody is always trying to obstruct my movement as a citizen of the United States. <laughs> now, um, there's what's known as uh, winning the game. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure, but I think you have to take the queen of the other individual. Yes to checkmate them, or maybe you have to checkmate the king. I'm not quite sure how they play it. I've tried to learn how to play it before, and I just, I could not see any moves um, uh, that were available to me because I can't see two, three, four, five moves ahead of myself. <laughs> now, a lot of those in government, mm -hmm, they're always playing a, a type of chess when it involves the enforcement of the laws. <laughs> Now let's let's look at this. Oh, the printer was and the year was fourteen seventy four. Mm -hmm. In the United States, chess was first brought into prominence by Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> now Benjamin Franklin is known for a lot of things. I think the the kite with the maybe the brass key or the copper key that was on it, so that he could electrocute himself. Yeah, uh, that's what I know him for. <laughs> And then, of course, uh, various other secret societies that he belonged to. But uh, Benjamin Franklin was one of these innovators. Mm. Now, let's say today we're playing a chess game. Mm. And it's called the end of the world. <laughs> now, whoever wins the game of chess, yes, gets to control the world. Mm -hmm. And as I've uh, documented, um, I'm... I'm of the mindset that I actually control the world. And I know you'd say it's crazy on my part, but when you have the innovations necessary or available, yes, to manufacture fresh water, mm -hmm. that's one of those moves where you can't use my intellectual property yes, without enforcing the laws. <laughs> now, I'm really confident in my ability to produce two trillion gallons of fresh water a year mm -hmm. using some simple innovations uh, known as the HHO gas welder. Yes. And the magnifying glass. <laughs> now we're playing for the world mm -hmm. and it's the end of the world today. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you that thought, well, he who controls the water controls the world. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of governments that would say, he who controls the currency controls the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm familiar with these bankers <coughs> and uh, their mindset about uh, the control of assets and currency and money supply and all these other ideas. <laughs> but the, the problem is, let's say you ran out of water and you had the world's money supply. 
You're sitting in the Federal Reserve Bank. Yes. And you're in each of the Federal Reserve Banks throughout the world in approximately 100 nations where their job is to uh, try and, and promote, yes, uh, employment mm -hmm. and uh, protect against inflation. Yeah. <laughs> now, the concern is when I look at the actual interest rates of the Federal Reserve Banks throughout the world, mm -hmm. they're kind of at the bottom of the availability of stimulating the economy because of uh, monetary policy. <laughs> then there's me sitting over here, mm -hmm. and I have the world's water supply. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Now, you're sitting there with a printing press mm -hmm. available to you right, to stimulate the world's uh, economies using quantitative easing or a printing press is somewhat synonymous. <laughs> and your thought was, well, I control the money supply, and so I'm the king of the world. Yes. My problem is I control the world's water supply, and I'm the king of the world. <laughs> now, in the game of the end of the world! <laughs>